Welcome back to Fresh. Are you feeling fresh? I saw you last night. <laughs> now go wash your stamps. Because you, you know, know you're fresh when you're, you're ready, ready with, with your, your channels. Know your roots, because if you have no roots, your bush will fly away. You know you are so fresh when you have one of these ones. The Japanese people might have invented the jandals, flip-flops, and the New Zealanders might have claimed it as their Kiwiana icon, but it was the Pacific Islanders who had the brains to create the fine uses for them. Japan lies in the Pacific Ocean, so that makes them one of us. This was the first sight of the Zori, aka the Japanese Sando. It was mainly for beach wear to tan the toes and flippers in the sea, but that was the only place you can wear them because outside of the beach, it wasn't right. It was like an Andes Andes talk situation. We islanders are such trendsetters that we took the Japanese Sando, combined the name, and ta da! The Chando. Warning, if it's not bought from the makeki, it is not real. Here are the top 5 uses of the chando, or my nana likes to say the channel. The 5 Ds. Coming in at number 5, dehydration. The flexible rubber of the chando helps the airwaves to move side to side so the air particles become cool to keep you cool. Or in your language, you can use it as a fan. Number 4. Damage. Your babes is a little sore from a hard day at work? A perfect massage is with the chandles. Hold and maneuver in a chopping action to do the damage. Number Dolu. Depression. Save your kids from being depressed and save money on toys. Give them each a chando to use as a walkie talkie. The further they go, the less reception they receive. So tell them to only talk face to face. <coughs> Roger Jack. <coughs> Number 2. Discipline. The flat surface and Y shape helps the chando to fly, spin, and return. So next time your neighbor's dog is eating your tower leaves in the garden, don't fry the dog, but fly the chando. Just like your neighbor's dogs, use the same technique on kids over 16 to avoid their escape out the back fence after 7:30 p.m. Below the hip is the best place to aim so that they can't walk anymore. And number one tip of the general uses, day-to-day -day wear. To save heaps of time, no socks, no laces, the jandal is the way to go. Know your roots and remember jandals, only if you're fresh and only from the makeki. If they say wear covered shoes, yeah, just flip them over and cover your toes with the flat surface. <laughs>